Yeah, yeah both come from founder type. Uh, as a very beginning, he's a speaker and I'm the translator. But he practiced his English a lot, so he doesn't need me anymore. Uh, so please allow me to find a corner and uh, cry a while. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's enjoy his presentation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, my English is, is limited. Uh, so we will begin to talk about Chinese tab uh, from calligraphy to typeface. Yes, it's about me. I'm Wang Wen. Uh, I'm coming from Beijing, China, from the tab. Um, I am a Type designer and a graphic designer. Uh, this is my doctor and my wife. My hobby is uh, calligraphy, and uh, I like uh, badminton and uh, traveling. That's a uh, uh, particular culture impact, uh, a unique attribute to its own writing system. The history of Chinese characters, in short, is a history of Chinese calligraphy. The part one is uh, evolution of ch uh, ancient Chinese calligraphy. Um, human beings in ancient times, maybe it uh, maybe it, it have a uh, language, but have no characters. Uh, they try to record uh, record things uh, by nodes on the rope. So we can see the uh, the right pictures. Mm, we can find a lot of rope in later Chinese characters. There are ancient marks about uh, nine uh, of about nine thousand years ago. And the Oracle Oracle Boyne script in this piece of the bone. The most, uh, on this piece of the, mo the bone, uh, inscribed three oracles about hunting, suffocates, uh, and the weather. It's the earliest and the most developed writing and the curve. There are three pictures of uh, of different uh, different times is uh, in the middle Shang Dynasty, later Shang Dynasty, and the Western Zhou. We can see the progress from simple pattern to standard writing system. Qin Dynasty, uh, Qin Dynasty is the, uh, is the first unit state of Imperial China. And the Qin Dynasty's uh, characters writing of six other earlier states were merged into one style. And this is the Li Shu. It's from Qin Dynasty. Uh, it's found in Hunan and Hubei in China. It's written on the bamboo. This is the this is the Li Shu, uh, two style of Li Shu in Han 
in Han Dynasty. And the, this is the Zhang Cao. Zhang Cao is the new curve uh, script developed from Li Shu. The left one is uh, read on bamboo. And the other one is read on paper. It's the earliest uh, calligraph of China. Now we, uh, I show the Kai Shu. I showed the uh, uh, evolution of Kaishu. Uh, origin of Kai is founded uh, by Zhong Yu in Wei Dynasty. It has a little Li Shu style. And this is Wang Xizhi and Wang Xianzhi. They are father and son. We find it uh, and the finalized the stroke of uh, the stroke and the basic structure of Kai Shu. And this is the works by Wang Xizhi. Uh, his Cao Shu and Xing Shu have a uh, greatest artist value. Wang is known as the sage and the king of the calligraph in China. It is the uh, they are the no uh, they are the works of South China in four and five century. At the same time. In north of uh, in north of China, there are uh, uh, a lot of Kai style, Kai Shu style. They engraved uh, engraved the stone and the tube uh, tube style. The Kai Shu from three, uh, three, three dynasty still has uh, charming chances of Li Shu. The Kai Shu matured during the Tang dynasty. This is the, uh, they are the works of Ouyang Xun by, uh, by Ouyang Xun in earlier Tang Dynasty. They are the works of Yan Zhenqing in Middle Tang Dynasty. They are the works of Liu Gongquan in Late Tang Dynasty. The works of Zhao Mengfu, Yuan Dynasty. He's a master of calligraphy, in uh, and uh, influence on the later calligraphy in Ming and the Qing Dynasty. Okay, summary. In the history of development of Chinese uh, script, the Li, the Li Shu stored as the threshold between the ancient script and the motion and the modern script. The store is a concept that merged, uh, that emerged only during the modern script and thereafter, a significant progress in terms of information transformation. Transmission. It is the uh, 
the stone that fared the Chinese characters from their more pacifically and uh, turned them into a unique artist expansion called choreography. The part two is from choreography to typeface. The book in China existed already during the spring and autumn period. It's about uh, 3,000 years ago. It's, uh, it's writing by hand on the bamboo. Uh, in Han Dynasty and the Wei Dynasty, The classic of all uh, dictionaries are usually engraved on stones. During the cross of Sri and the Tang Dynasty, wooden block printing advanced step by step. It is a handwriting style called, called uh, Woodbeat, a uh, Buddhist copy, uh, copy script. And uh, this is the Wood block during the Song Dynasty. The first one is the. This is a book printed by Guo Zijian. It's a um, national education state uh, organization. It's published uh, by Chen Workshop and Yin Workshop. And in these times, the typeface is influenced by Tang Dynasty. This is the Zhejiang region book. Um, the typeface is based on Ouyang Xun. This is the Sichuan region book. The style of typeface is Yan Zhenqing. And this is the Fujian region book. The typeface uh, style is Liu Gongquan. This is the formation of Song Ti and the influence from Kai Ti. The first one. This one is. Yes. Uh, the 
cooperation with book writer and the cutters. The second one, rapid curves is the vertical reason of the formation of Song Ti. And then in the Ming Dynasty, a new typeface measured is named the Song Ti and uh, curled as Ming Chao Ti in Japan and the South Korean. This is the Song Ti of Qing Dynasty. Scraps wrote in such style di uh, directly. In Qing Dynasty, emperors uh, all lacked Kai Shu. So lots of uh, document and the books used Kai, kai Shu. Such influence continued until very recently. Even the new school education books of the late Qing Dynasty and the textbooks of the Republic of China were, proto, uh, were printed in Kai Chu. The Kai Shu went on two separate ways in a long course of history, one leading up to calligraphy and the one to printing types. Song Ti was born out of Kai Shu, but as its strokes and the structures become more and more for me, uh, for its temperament described and uh, its appearance and the sprint slowly dropped out of the Kai Ti. The part three, the development of Chinese character in the past 100 years. We know during the 19th centuries, the later Qing, uh, the later Qing Dynasty, modern printing and uh, type foundering technical were introduced by churches and uh, missionary from the West. And soon become widely accepted in China. Modern Song typeface have been used widely in China. But the intent uh, curves of the Republic of China were not satisfied with Song Ti at all. This believes that Kai Shu is better than Song, Song Ti. This is uh, Dean Brothers. They created a new style typeface imitation Song Dynasty. And uh, this is a kind of Kai Shu named Hua Feng Kai Ti. The style, of, uh, the style of this type is, uh, is uh, Yan Zhenqing's uh, Yan Zhenqing. 
This is the Han Wen Kai Shu. It's written by Gao Yuncheng. The style of typeface is a Xiao Kai, a small Kai Shu. This is the Hua Wen Kai Ti. It's written by Chen Lui Tan. Uh, the style of this type is a uh, Ouyang Xun's Kai Shu. <coughs> After the foundation of New China, uh, China's printing and the publishing industry have great advancement. The picture is the first executive community of drawing the industry association for type foundering and the publishing in Shanghai, 1951. There are the uh, new typeface in 1950s and the 1960s. They are the 1960s. This is the 1970s. 1980s. In 1960s, a few of calligraphy typefaces have been produced. The part four, the new life of calligraphy in the digital age. Our company, uh, Founder Type, focuses on calligraph typeface design, and uh, we make uh, many of traditional calligraphy typeface. It is based on Qin Dynasty, Xiao Zhuan. It is based on Han Dynasty. It is Zhang Cao. This is uh, based on Li Shu of Jin Dynasty. This is a Kai Shu in, uh, in Bei Wei Dynasty. This is a Kai Shu. Uh, based on Jin Dynasty. It is Liu Gongquan style. There are uh, two styles of Kai Shu. Mm. The style is uh, Emperor of Song Dynasty. This is the Kai Shu of Song Dynasty books. Uh, this is my works. Uh, strong style uh, Kai Shu for, uh, based on Forbidden City. This is uh, another of my work. It's a Xing Shu by brush calligraphy. It's uh, used in structure, poster, box, brand, and uh, other, and the exact, and uh, design. Oh, 
the, the last part. Um, trade in Chinese typography. The first is a highly refined and type fan, uh, families. With the release of digital type produced type design software uh, developed across the territory. In China alone, there are five or six uh, skills used development tools. The one is through the control of circle nodes and lines, the part of the characters have become more standardized and uh, sophisticated. Their overall quality has also significant, uh, significantly improved. The two, the same part of the characters could be copied repeatedly or slightly modified. That's increasing the speed of standard of type design. Three, the progress of a growth uh, enables rapid uh, produ uh, production of type families based on a prototype. The fourth, using Latin based method to design Chinese could improve the layout of the kaishu. So we can see the, the width of the character in China. It's a variable. The second, return of handwriting. Since the beginning of, the, of this century, about 50% uh, of reigning places in international tap design competition are uh, inspired by the re related with handwriting or calligraphy. In China, uh, during Chinese Festivals, typeface with calligraphy flower and above more suitable for this festive atmosphere. The third, the third, the crash of modern and the classic as access tech. It is a modern typeface to explore a traditional calligraphy. It's designed by Gu Zhengyu. It is the first prize of the uh, last uh, founder type design competition. Uh, this is my, my work, uh, traditional Kai Shu is the finalist of last uh, Marisava Tap Design competition. The first, merging tap design. The merging, integrating method of design are common no matter in the west and the west, uh, in the east and the west. This is a combination of Kai and Song. It's a new typeface. This is a combination of the Kai of Ouyang Xun and the woodblock Song Ti.
we can fusion two or three still to design a new tab. The last one, tab design and AI. The picture is uh, AI. So we can see the, the laptop one is uh, original writing typeface. And the right one is created by AI. So we can, we can see the AI have a good effect. But it's, uh, it is built, uh, built, uh, based on pixel, not curves. The future of the uh, type design belong to AI. We can predicate that human aesthetic plus machine effi uh, efficiently, uh, effectively, will make the type industry advanced by lefts and bonds. The innovation is going on forever. But sometimes we need to look back for our history. It is our history that keeps us moving forever. A forward. Thanks, everyone.